fuck no Canada. Fuck no Canada. We refute you. We refute you as the 51st state. You're no longer part of the states. Okay? That has been refuted. You don't want to give weapons to Israel? Since when have you given anything to Israel? What weapons do you have to give to Israel? What weapons have you ever given to Israel? Seven. At least seven Canadian citizens were killed, murdered, murdered on October 7th. That's the only fucking thing you should be talking about, is that your citizens were killed in Israel by Hamas. They're the fucking bad guys. And you co-signing them, uh, uh, kowtowing, explaining, or anything else for them makes you the fucking bad guys too. Of course, I'm talking about the government, not the good people or my friends of Canada. You're not giving weapons to Israel. You got no fucking weapons to give, nor have you ever given weapons. No Canada. Fuck no Canada. In a fiery defense, Michael Rappaport staunchly supports Israel while condemning the Canadian government's cessation of arms exports. His impassioned outburst reflects deep-seated concerns about the erosion of moral principles and the weakening of global unity. Rappaport's stance is perceived as a manifestation of staunch nationalism and unwavering solidarity with Israel, a stance often associated with conservative ideologies. By highlighting the loss of Canadian lives in Israel, Rappaport underscores the significance of standing by allies in the face of threats from groups like Hamas and external acts of aggression. His remarks serve as a rallying cry for the protection of democratic values and the reinforcement of alliances against the perils of terrorism and aggression.